Hey, it's Mary Beth Shaw from Stencil Girl Products. I want to show you a cool technique today using Duralar. This is a sheet of Duralar .005 Clear. I make and embellish these with alcohol inks and stencils all the time. Love using them in my art. So, I shall show you what I do. Right now, I've got just an old dirty Ziploc bag laying on top of a piece of paper, mainly so you can see what I'm doing, okay? And I put the bag here because this alcohol ink has real staining properties. You could wear gloves on your hands if you wanted. So, you lay your Duralar down, then put a stencil on top. Um, I kind of like a more intricate design stencil because I think it looks really cool when you work it with the alcohol ink and I'm going to show you what you can do with this. I have a few colors here and then I have a little piece of felt that I just got at the fabric store. So I am going to just start putting some colors down and um, I kind of stayed a little bit cohesive in my colors, except I did grab a green, but kind of I'm in this orange, yellow, pink sort of arena with colors. So that one was terracotta, the first one. This one is watermelon. And you don't see how I'm squirting it. You don't have to be super specific with it. You can be if you like or not. Okay, this is one of those, um, oh, I thought it was a pearl one. It's not, it's sunshine yellow. And so I'll get that there, squirt a little bit of it around. And then I'm gonna take this felt and I'm just gonna kind of dab them down. So I just make sure that I've got good contact between the stencil and the Duralar. That's all I'm doing here. And it'll take a couple minutes for it to dry, not too long though. And if you want a more pale color, you could use the alcohol blending solution or just a 91% alcohol, and that will make it more pale if you prefer that look. I actually have some of that so I can put some down here. See how it kind of blends it out? I mean, I think they're both really cool looks, so you might want to try a little bit of both. Now this got too blown out, so I'm going to go back and pounce it down again. And then I'm going to take, if I can get it open, I'm going to take this pistachio because I want a little bit of green in a few areas. I don't know why, I just thought it might be fun. So you can, when you do a second round, you can kind of just put the colors in very specific little component parts of your stencil, which is sort of fun, right? And I'm gonna pop out a few colors with the, a few of the little stencil parts with the yellow. Okay, now we're just gonna let it dry for a few minutes and then I will show you what you can do next. All right, it's been a few minutes, probably about 10 minutes, and I'm gonna take this off of here. And okay, let me put this to the side for a second because that'll just sit there. And I wanna show you that you can lay, this is the dirty stencil, and I'm laying it down on just a piece of white paper. And you can get a baby wipe and just clean it off a little bit on here. Now, you know, it's alcohol ink, so what cleans alcohol ink? Alcohol. This is the 91% from the drugstore. I just put a little bit on the baby wide, and look how much will come off of there. And then you can just put this aside, and then someday, if you're in the mood to do something different, you know, you can just paint some pages or do whatever with it. I keep these, and they actually are kind of cool. This one was cool because the stencil was dirty to begin with, so it left some little grody bits in there. I love this little grungy grody bit. Okay, so here it is on top of white paper. It's lovely, right? Yes, of course it is. But you could make this even more cool. So what I have here, I have white gesso and then just an aqua and a yellow, just a craft grade, very opaque kind of paint. And I want to show you what happens when you put some on the back of this. And I'm just using a palette knife. So we'll put some there and then wipe it off with on this baby wipe since it's laying here. And then I'll put some blue over here 
behind that green bit. I bet that's going to be cool. And I wouldn't necessarily use all these colors on one piece, but I just am trying to show you some of the options. And then some, just some simple white gesso, right? And this is on the back side. You could do it right on top of the alcohol, whatever you want to do. There's so much flexibility with this Durla. And look at how cool this is. It's completely different now. I mean, that white really makes that area pop. Here's the area where I put the white behind. You think that that's on top, but it's not. That's behind. It's really nice looking. Here's the area where I put the aqua, and here's the area where I put that yellow. I'll have to say that yellow is the money shot for me. I love how that looks behind it, don't you? Anyway, I have a lot of fun making these Duralar parts, and I hope that you will too. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips and techniques from the stencil girl herself, Mary Beth Shaw, be sure to hit the subscribe button below.